So to level the bed, uh, you go down to prepare, auto home. And that auto home function then moves the uh, moves the bed and the extruder over to the, to this big corner and puts the z-axis right down at the bottom position. So once that's sitting in the home position, um, you can go, you can jog, you can manually jog these axes around. And you can move the bed back and forth that way. It's it's really quicker to just disable the steppers. That just shuts off the power to all the stepper motors, and then you can manually just move the bed around uh, by hand. So once you once you've uh, disabled the steppers. What, what they tell you to do is to just put a piece of paper underneath the extruder until you can just feel it drag on the, on the extruder tip. And then from there you can just manually push the motor over, do the other corner, do the same thing, pull the bed towards yourself, do that corner, push it over, do the fourth corner. And, and then you're done. Um, I did it in two or three steps. Started out with three thicknesses of paper and, and worked my way down two pieces of paper and one pieces of paper. And uh, I don't know, as, as a mechanical designer, to me that's, that's a way to do it in just in small increments to make sure you get the best results. Okay, so you know, I realize this isn't the best looking at a computer on the on the screen, but whatever. I'm I'm no professional. Um, so this is the Creality CR10 uh, Facebook page. Uh, you know, you go on and do a search for Creality CR10 to find it. Um, and these guys are very helpful. You know, well, most of my questions were answered within within half an hour uh, of of posting a question. Um, so there, there, each unit comes with a micro SD card and on the SD card there are instructions, okay, and I didn't even realize that, I didn't know that there was, so I was, I was really working blind now, after the fact, now I find the instructions. So they do give instructions for loading the Cura software, which is your slicing software. The version that comes with it is an old version. Um, you know, and maybe you'd be better off loading that older version and starting off with it. I, I, you know, I don't know. The funny part is, is that even showing, they, they show you how to install it, and then they start to go over some of the settings that you need to run. This isn't very important. They, the Cura software does not come with dedicated settings for the Creality um, machine. So it's important when you're installing it, I don't know whether you can see that or not, but when you're installing it, it says what kind of machine do you have, and you select other, and then they recommend selecting a Prusa Mendel i3. Now, the version that I had, which was 2.4, which is the latest version, that unit wasn't even listed. There was a Mendel version listed, and there was a Prusa i3 listed. So I picked the Prusa i3, and that seemed to be where it seems to be working okay. So then the rest of their instructions that they give you really, the when Cura went from version 14 to version 15, that was the last version of that numerical sequence. Then they went to 2.1 and 2.4. The whole interface is quite different. So the instructions that they give you on their online instructions don't really apply to the new software. These settings are there, but you have to go look in different places to find them. And the other thing that I find really odd is that they're giving you instructions on here for setting, for doing your settings, but they've only got the CR5 and the CR7 listed. They don't even have the CR10. So, 
you know you're going to have to go into and make a few settings your maximum width you know you got to set it at 300 your maximum depth 300 and your height I think is 390 and you have to click your heated bed that's that's important too so they go through all these parameters um, and and so the ones that are circled they're important you go it's going to take you a while to find them in the new format if you use the new software but you'll find them eventually um, once that's done you can also go to the Facebook page and once you become a member and you go look under files there are uh, Cura profiles in here where people have already done a lot of the presettings for you so there's this one Cura 10 I don't know what Ocarina is but whatever that one seems to work pretty good and there's another one here the CR10 uh, settings from Facebook groups is another one that that they all they're all pretty similar to one another and they're all set up for PLA to, to print PLA so I've tried both of those and they both they both worked okay for me so that takes some of the guesswork out of doing your setups it gets you it gets you going right off the bat or, or, or for doing your own the the cat print that is that, that I showed you the first print that I did it is on that SD card already so you can just plug that SD card in and run it and and that print is all set up and ready to go um, one other thing when you are putting it in the, the the SD card into the control box you have to can turn the control box off first before you put the SD card in so I don't I don't know whether there's really anything else in here to to really talk about or not they do go into although it's all half in Chinglish here they do go through some of the other settings about changing your your layer depths and everything so if you are having trouble with your prints you can probably learn a little bit by going through this documentation that you know they they talk about infill percentage and top thickness and bottom thickness and stuff like that I haven't used it enough to, to have any problems yet so <laughs> good news bad news so this is the Cura software and this this is going to be my my next print so this is version 2.4 2. so w once you start and you look at configurating Cura and you look under printers so there's my printer this that I named CR10 Prusa i3 and it is active now this is where most of the machine settings are or some of them like there's your sizing and and uh, your heated bed that they sh and stuff like that so I did other than setting that I didn't change any of the other settings manually and then when you go down here to profiles here's where you can assign different profiles so there's right there's the Creality CR10 settings from Facebook and there's that Ocarina whatever profile from the Facebook group so if you're going to be printing different types of uh, filament this is where you create a new profile for your different type of filament and that's how you control what the machine is going to print how it's going to print so other than that it is really very simple you just you drag in your STL file so here's the next prints that I'm going to do I've got and I'm actually going to do two parts at once you just drag them in that's it it's done you drag them in you position them the way you want them and every time you change something they automatically update and down here in the, in the bottom right hand corner you know it says ready to save file and you can just save the file to your SD card once you save your file to your SD card you just take it over plug it in the machine put the SD card in the machine turn it on um, you can preheat the extruder or you can just go through the menu and print from SD card it'll load the file it'll start heating up the um, the extruder and the bed and it won't start printing until those are both up to temperature and then you start printing hopefully the stuff sticks to your bed uh, that seems to be half the challenge 
and then you just let it print. I, mine just works absolutely flawlessly. The, the two prints I've done so far, it just there's there's been I haven't had to do anything. So I hope that helps the newbies a little bit get going.